Hi friends, welcome to Adobe Spot and welcome to Berachain Testnet tutorial. Some months ago, we did tutorial on version 1 of Berachain Testnet and it's high time that we do another tutorial on Berachain Bartio Testnet, which is version 2. So we are going to start off by claiming test tokens. We are going to paste the link to a list of Berachain faucets. There are tons of dApps to interact with on Berachain that we cannot even finish everything in this one video. So the purpose of coming here is to see all the available faucets on Berachain where you can claim Bartio token. So claim from as many sources as you can claim from here so that you have enough test tokens to use and interact with Berachain testnet. And let's not forget that Berachain has a funding of $142 million at the moment, which is currently valued at $420 million. And if they eventually decide to reward testnet participants, it may actually be something really nice. So I am using the official Berachain faucet. And to use this faucet, you need to have at least 0.001 ETH on your wallet. That's about $3 worth of mainnet ETH. So once you have qualified for that, then paste your wallet address, check that capture, verify that you are human, then you are going to tap on drip. You can always come back here after every 8 hours to claim test tokens from this faucet again. So now that we have gotten our test token, we are going to begin our first interaction on Berachain Bartio. We are going to visit bex.berachain.com swap. I am going to leave every link I used in this video. I'm going to leave it in the video description as well as the pinned comment for your convenience. So what are we to do here? We want to make some swaps. But first, you have to connect your wallet. So tap on connect. We are using EVM wallet so you can choose MetaMask, Coinbase or any other wallet of your choice. And then once you connect wallet, it is going to ask you to switch your network to Berachain Bartio. If you don't have it on your wallet before, then you are going to receive a prompt to add the uh, network to your wallet. Just follow the prompt to add it. So to begin with, I want to swap some Berra into Honey. So I will indicate the amount of Berra that I want to swap into Honey. I will tap on Preview, then tap on Swap. I'll then confirm this transaction in my wallet. Transaction successful. Next up, I want to swap some honey for wrapped bearer. So I just swapped into four honey. Then I'm, I am going to swap some of these four honey into wrapped bearer i want to swap two then i'll tap on approve honey do not tap on approve infinite approve the spending of your honey in your wallet then once the approval is successful tap on preview then tap on swap. Then confirm this transaction in your wallet. So now that we are done with swapping, we are going to visit the liquidity page. You can also access that from the sidebar menu, but I'm going to leave the link to everything in the comment section. Connect your wallet. So here I am going to be adding honey and draft bearer into the liquidity pool on BEX. I'll indicate the amount of honey and the appropriate amount of wrapped bearer has been displayed. I'll tap on approve honey. Do not choose approve infinite.
then you are going to also approve your wrapped bearer for spending so tap on approve wrapped bearer approve in your wallet now tap on add liquidity then confirm transaction in your wallet now your transaction is successful and here is what you can do next you can also deposit your liquidity pool token your honey and wrapped bearer uh, receipt token deposit it into the staking vault so tap on deposit agree to the terms of service tap on i agree connect your wallet Now here is my liquidity pool token that I added here. If you tap on max, you see the entire quantity of it. Then tap on approve honey wrapped bearer liquidity pool. Approve that in your wallet. Now tap on deposit. Then you are going to confirm that transaction in your wallet. Now, when you deposit your liquidity pool token in the staking vault, you are going to receive BGT in return. BGT means bearer chain governance token. Okay, so if I tap on claim rewards now, maybe I'll have a little something to claim. But the longer that you leave your liquidity pool token staked in the staking vault, the more BGT that you uh, will be able to claim. Although not officially declared, but the amount of BGT that you own can actually be used as a metric to judge your level of interaction with Bearer Chain Testnet. So interact, especially with platforms where you can claim BGT as rewards, interact with such platform. Interact with them, even if you can do it daily, it is fine. Get more test tokens, do more interaction so that you have more BGT to claim. So I waited for about 20 minutes, then I did a sample claiming just to see how much I can claim after 20 minutes. Okay, so I went to Berachain Explorer to check the amount of BGT that I just claimed. So I copied the contract address of BGT and I'm going to open up my wallet. I am going to import that contract address to see how much BGT I am currently holding in my address. Note that this is my first time of claiming BGT on Berachain Bartio. So I have 0.00025 BGT. So what's the whole point of me showing this part of my interaction? It is to tell you to do more of adding tokens to liquidity pool that is honey and wrapped bearer and then adding your liquidity pool token into the staking vault. The goal as you interact with this testnet is to also earn as more BGT as you can. So now that you have BGT, what is next? Let's go to the sidebar menu and we are going to tap on delegate. So what we are here to do is to delegate our BGT to other validators. So on this drop down, I'm going to tap on it and I'm going to choose any validator of my choice from the list. So let's say I want to go for the honey jar. I'm going to tap on it. Accidentally, my recorder was off while I proceeded with the next stage. But I'm going to just show us a walkthrough of what is needed to be done. So if you have your BGT, you are going to tap on max or you are going to type in the amount that you want to delegate to a validator. Okay. Now, if I tap on max, you will see that it says I don't have enough BGT. That is because I already delegated mine. So once you set your amount, you are going to tap on Q boost and you are going to receive a prompt to complete the transaction in your wallet. As I already delegated mine, you can see my history at the bottom here under delegation queue and you can see how many blocks that is remaining for my delegation to be confirmed on chain 8107 blocks remaining now i do not know how long it would take for 8107 blocks to be completed but what i did was to just come back the next day and the block was already completed and all i had to do was just tap on confirm and then confirm that transaction in my wallet 
Now, my BGT delegation is successful. Next up, we are going to visit partio.berps.berachain.com and we are going to do perpetual trading. So, uh, agree to the terms of service. If you are using mobile, you want to make sure your browser is on desktop mode to have access to this site. Then tap on start trading. So what you are here to do is to place either long or short position. I want to place short position. Okay. So I am going to enter the amount of honey that I would like to trade with. I have 10 honey and I intended to trade with 5 and using the slider uh, below you are going to choose the amount of leveraging of your choice. So I entered 5 honey and I want to use 20x leveraging. I am still on the long tab so I just tapped on the short tab to switch to that. Next I am going to approve honey for spending so I will tap on approve honey and then approve that in my wallet. The approval is done, now I am going to tap on place short order. I will confirm that in my wallet. So we just successfully placed the position on Bartio.Berps. We are going to now interact with the money market. We are going to visit bratio.bench.berachain.com. Agree to the terms of service, then connect your wallet. Afterwards, tap on Borrow Honey. Wait for the page to finish loading. Now, in any money market, you cannot do any borrowing without first depositing collateral, okay? And there are two collateral tokens here, and that is wrapped BTC and worth, of which I do not have any of them in my wallet. So what do we do? I quickly went back to Bex, where we did some swapping at the beginning of this video, and I swapped some bearer for wrapped BTC as well as worth. So that it doesn't get any confusing, I am going to leave a clear description of each link that you would find under the pinned comment so that you know what to do with each link that you see there. So you are going to click on the link for swapping to come back here and then swap into worth as well as wrapped PTC. I just entered the amount of bearer to swap into worth and I am going to tap on preview, tap on swap and then confirm the transaction in my wallet. Swap successful, then you can also do the same for wrapped BTC. I'll quickly hurry back to Bend where we are doing lending and borrowing. Now you will notice that worth button is active while wrapped BTC button is still inactive and that is because I just swapped into worth and now I am holding worth. So I tapped on deposit and I'm going to tap on max to deposit everything that I have under worth and I'm going to tap on approve worth. I will approve the spending of worth in my wallet. The approval is done. I am going to tap on deposit. And I will confirm this transaction in my wallet. Now my deposit is successful and what I'll do next is to scroll to the bottom of the page and then we are going to borrow honey. I am going to tap on borrow. Here I can borrow up to 2.63 honey but I won't borrow everything. I'll keep adjusting the quantity I want to borrow until my LTV ratio is uh, displaying in green color then it is safe for me to borrow that amount. So instead of borrowing 2.63 honey, I want to borrow just one. 
and then you can see my LTV health ratio is now in green color 3.07 so I will tap on borrow and I will confirm this transaction in my wallet Transaction successful. Now, Bend.BearChain is also another platform that you can interact with to get more BGT rewards as you can see. So if you want to claim your rewards, leave it for some days and you would have accumulated uh, some tangible BGT to claim and then delegate. Lastly, on this site, we are going to supply honey. So I scrolled up and I will tap on supply tap on approve honey and then choose the amount of honey that you want to supply tap on approve honey the approval is done then tap on supply And then confirm this transaction in your wallet. So that's all for bench.berachain.com. Next, we are going to mint a domain name on Berachain Bartio. So I am going to visit bearanames.com slash mint. Once you are here, connect your wallet and once you've done that, enter the domain name of your choice that you would like to buy on Berachain Bartio. If your domain name of choice is available, then proceed with choosing the duration that you want to own it for. You can buy it for up to 5 years or even set your own custom period. So, I am going to choose 1 year. Buying this domain name for one year costs one bearer. I will tap on mint and then confirm this transaction in my wallet. I previously interacted with bearer names days before making this tutorial and I already purchased the domain name so I have no reason to proceed with this so I cancelled uh, my interaction with that prompt. However, you have seen how to buy your own domain name when you are here. Now we are going to move to the last phase of this tutorial and that is interaction with Covans Testnet on Berachain. We are going to visit app.covans.com. In this video, I am not going to do any testnet interaction on Covans. If you are a subscriber of this channel, then you know that some days ago we did a tutorial on Covans Testnet. Now, I am going to put a link to that tutorial in the comment section as well as the description of this video and what you want to do is watch that video, follow the exact procedure, do all the testnet tasks on Ethereum Sepolia and Arbitrum Sepolia and most importantly you want to do it on Berachain Bartio as well. So when you do that, you are actually positioning for two airdrops. One, Covans airdrop, which is 4% of the total supply for testnet participants and Bera chain airdrop as well. It has been a long journey from the beginning of this video, but if you follow all the interactions that we have done here, then you would have done all the key tasks that are on Bera chain Bartio testnet. There are still other dApps that we can interact with as well, which I cannot feature in this video because it will become too long. So maybe another time I'm going to gather information on some more dApps that we can interact with and I'll make them into another tutorial. Now if you have any question, drop me a comment in the comment section of this video. If you know that this video has provided you value and made your Berachain testnet interactions much easier, then give me a like and as well subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching. I will see you in another tutorial.